I know that we have a lot of different types of drones. So yeah. just take us through the the types of drones that we have out there. Because I've seen some very big ones and very small ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here we have different types of drones. We mm. have the quad. We have the quad. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the quad is the four motor uh, drone. Four motors. Yeah. Okay. We so also, how far can that one go? So it depends. It, it depends, depends on okay. the. Ba uh, the battery that it's using. Okay. Yeah, it depends. Right. Okay, so which other types do we have again? Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Vistec on Ghana Web TV with me, Maoli Aholmega. As you can see, I have in my hand this tool right here. This is not a video game controller, but this is actually a transmitter which is used to power drones and on this episode i have here with me a drone expert his name is shaibu adams where we'll be exploring inside the mind of a drone shaibu welcome to the show how are you thank you great i'm doing very well you have some very exciting things to show us yeah. now just first of all what exactly am i looking at right now so you are looking at a six six inch drone that i have here okay yeah. all right so what, what went into the idea of you developing and creating this this drone Okay, so actually I'm looking at uh, uh, building a drone that we can use uh, to teach like a purpose of learning. Mm. Yeah, so I'm actually looking at using the items that we can actually get in our country mm. to build a simple drone for learning. So this is for specifically learning purposes. Yeah. But what are the other uses that people can use drones for? All right, so we can use drones for filming. Mm. We can use it for photography. Okay. We can also use drones for delivery. We can also use drones for land surveying. Mm. A whole lot of things. Okay, a whole lot of things. So it's beneficial for some specific sectors, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now let's go into the mind of the drone itself. Mm. I know you've you, you developed this yourself, right? Yes. So please. just take us through exactly everything that makes this drone function. All right. Mm. So. I have a GPS. Okay. Yeah. All right. I also have the brain itself, which the is brain, the which is the mind in the, itself. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Which is the Ado flyer. Mm. Ado I also, flyer. Yeah. Okay. I also have a tra uh, receiver here. Okay. So this receiver communicates with the with the trans transmitter. transmitter that okay. you have here. Mm. Yeah. We also have a speed ESC, which is the electronic speed controllers. Okay. So they control the speed of the motor. Mm. We also have the brushless motor. Brushless motor. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the normal motors that we use in our cars, the, these small small mm. cars are called the brush the brushless motors. motor. Okay. So they are called brush motors, but mm. these ones that we use in drones are called brushless motors. Okay. We also uh, have a five inch blade here, three mm. uh, blades. That's the propellers, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm. So they are the propellers. Mm. We also have a Voltage regulator, yeah. Voltage regulator, yeah, okay. So to regulate the power in the itself. Power, yeah. Okay. We also have a LiPo battery, yeah, which okay. powers the whole system. Interesting. So now I just want to touch down briefly on the battery. How, what's the capacity for the battery and how far can this fly? So this battery has uh, 600 milliamps per hour. Okay. Yeah, 600 milliamps. And we also, that, this is 7.2. I think 7.3 volts. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So little uh, lipo batteries don't really give. They actually discharge early. Mm. They actually discharge fast. Okay. So let's say there's seven, se uh, seven point three volts that I have here. Let's mm. say our drone can fly for about two to three minutes. Okay, two to three minutes. Yeah. Okay, and it will and do the are, work that you wanted to do. Yeah. We also okay. have the a battery called the uh, lithium. The lithium battery. battery yeah. okay. The lithium battery actually discharges slow, so mm. your drone can keep long in the air mm. whilst flying. Okay, so briefly, you, you developed this from scratch yourself. Yeah. Um, what, how long did it take and what raw materials did you use to, to develop this drone? All right, so first let's look at the frame. Mm. The frame here, yeah, I actually designed everything on my, in my notes. Okay, after, so you drew it yourself? Yeah, okay. I drew it on, in my notes mm. after I designed it on my computer okay you have a software solid, to design yeah it. solid well, works solid works, solid works. Okay. yeah mm. actually 3d works mm. so after designing i printed out the frames mm. uh, the motor mounts mm. which are these orange ones that you see here. okay so they are the motor mounts mm. so the motor mounts here 
I use the 3D printer to print them out. Okay. Yeah, the 3D printer. Which is the machine that's able to duplicate the, yeah, the yeah, items, yeah. the objects, the miniature objects and sure. all that. Okay, great. We also have wood here. Wood, okay. Yeah, the reason why I use wood here is because wood actually decreases the vibration of the drone. Okay. Yeah, to, the vibration to, caused from by shaking. the motors, mm, yeah. Okay. The wood actually decreases it. Mm. That's why I use the wood for the base of the drone okay i know that we have a lot of different types of drones so yeah. just take us through the the types of drones that we have out there because i've seen some very big ones and very small ones yeah yeah okay so here we are different types of drones. we mm. have the quad we have the quad uh, yeah okay so the quad is the four motor uh drone four motors yeah okay we so also, how far can that one go so it depends it, it depends, depends on okay. the uh, the battery that it's using. Okay. Yeah, it depends. Right. Okay, so which other types do we have again? We also have the drone with six motors. Six motors. Okay, yeah. so four motors, six motors. We also have the bicopter which has two motors. Two motors. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so just take us briefly to the functions of those those drones and how they work. Okay. So they all actually let me see they all perform the same the same function. function. Okay. Yeah, but we also have this type of drones that use only one motor, which mm. are the monocopter. And even we also have these drones called Vito. Mm. Vito is an, uh, the hybrid of drone and an RC plane. Oh, placed okay. Together. So oh. the plane is going to actually take off vertically. And then we don't need the we don't need a runway for mm. the plane. Okay. So it's actually going to take off vertically. Mm. So that at that point it's in a drone mode. ability okay. mode. All yeah, right. drone okay. mode. So it's going to take off vertically. Mm. Then after we are going to transition for it to move like a plane. Mm. So that's the Vito drone. Interesting. Yeah, mm. so I know we, we use some of some drones actually to in agriculture. So just yeah. briefly take us through how that process works okay. for those who use drones for agriculture. Okay. Mm. So actually they build a normal drone like this, but a, a very large drone. Okay. Yeah, which has a very large motors. Everything is really, really big. But the brain, the receiver, and the GPS mm. are the same. Are the same. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's it's almost the same tools, but then different applications. Yeah. All right. So at that point, we are going to add a gallon to it. So let, let's take it as a gallon, mm. which is going to contain the... Like, let's say, the fertilizer The fertilizer, like. okay. yeah. All right. So there is a sprayer also under, mm. which is going to spray the farm while the drone is moving. Mm. Interesting. So we, we, we use drones for farming purposes, for pictures. I know the US military have drones that they use for war and combat and surveillance and all. Uh, if you can briefly share that with us as well. Okay. Mm. So recently, uh, one country invented a drone called the Puma AE. Puma AE, okay, yeah. all right. It's like a drone used by the military, mm. militaries, mm. yeah. So it's actually, if you see it, you, you, uh, we actually say they are, are planes. Mm. So it's like a remote controlled plane. Okay. But most are the same drones, drones, yeah, drones. So yeah. we actually put them in the category of drones, mm. yeah. So they actually look like planes and they do this Bomb dropping, drop, bomb dropping. They also do this land surveying mm. for the military. Okay. They use also they use them for spying also. Mm. Right. So sometimes they can even create a a drone that when you see you don't it doesn't even look like a drone. It doesn't look like something a drone. like a balloon. Yeah. So you won't see it in the air. It looks like a balloon, but then yeah, it's actually a it's drone. Actually, a drone for spying. Function. Okay. Yeah. And, and then you have you have the transmitter, which is the controller. Yeah. I'm sure we'll, we'll come into it later. Yeah. But then I've been learning quite a lot from you, and then I'll take a quick break, and I'll be right back. Sure. I've been speaking with Shaibu Adams, and he's a drone expert, and we are exploring the mind inside the mind of a drone. We'll be right back after this break. <music> Everyone needs the perfect snack to munch on during a fun moment. Wow. Enjoy the tasty McBerry Twist Cupcakes, wow. deliciously baked and packaged for a sweet treat. Mm. Premium quality cakes baked with love for all, enriched in butter and milk. Mm, yummy. Oh, McBerry Twist Cupcakes. Simply irresistible. Try one today. This advert is FDA approved.
Welcome back from that break on Vistec. I still have here with me Shaibu Adams and he's a drone expert and we've been exploring inside the mind of a drone. Shaibu, tell you, I've been learning a lot from you. <laughs> now it's time to actually see how the whole thing works. So oh, yeah, yeah. take it away. So I'm sure we'll have to infuse this and this. So you take it away and then just power it and let's, let's see how the whole thing works. All right. All right. Okay. So, so you drop it for a while. Yeah. Okay. And then what are you doing right now? So right now, mm. I'm going to power the drone. Okay. I have some plugs here. Mm. One plug from the uh, battery itself. I mm. also have one plug from the battery regulator. Mm. So everything yeah. is connected. You have to connect yeah. all the everything cables. Everything is connected. Okay. So the connection is actually done by using the jumper wires. Jumper so you can wires. See I have okay. a whole lot of jumper wires mm. here that I use for the connections. Okay, interesting. All, all right. right. So we are going to power. As soon as we power the drone, we should have a sound a, a sound oh, yeah. okay so that means that that signals that it's on okay yeah, yeah i just have a sound interesting so, so now, now it's receiving the go. message to the brain right yeah okay so now we are good to go okay all right when you power it and you start smelling <laughs> something then you should know that everything is about to it's about to go yeah all right <laughs> interesting so the next we are going to look at is the transmitter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So briefly explain to us everything that we are seeing. Here. All right. So we have different different types of sticks and switches here. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now we have the first stick here, which is the throttle. So the throttle the is throttle. actually okay. going to power the drone to move up and down. Okay. Yeah. We also have the yaw. The yaw. Yeah. Which okay. is going to move the drone this way. Yeah. Okay. So left and then and right. right. Okay. Yeah. All right. We also have the rope the rope so okay. the drone is going to roll to the to the right, either to the right or, or to, to the, the left, left. Okay. we also have the pitch the pitch as well yeah, okay the pitch right. stick so the drone is going to move forward or backwards mm, okay. we also have some switches here so okay. we have the three-way switch here three-way switch so yeah. that's like the gear right yeah okay. so i can actually use the, these switches to change the mm. mode of the drone mm. so let's say i want to use the stabilized mode i'm going to change it let's say i want to use the Altitude hold. Okay. I'm going to change it. Right. Or I'm going to use the loiter mode. Okay. Yeah. I'm loiter also going mode. to change it. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. The All same right. as this ones also. Mm. And we also have the screen. The board here, in itself. Which shows the voltage. You can do a whole lot of things on this screen. So you can do the settings and everything. The on settings, the screen. yeah. Okay. We can also do the binding also on this transmitter. Okay. All right. So take it away. You can power it and then let's see how, how the drone Okay. Will, so will now we've turned it on. Okay. Okay. All right. So I see that the screen is on. Yeah. Okay. So what next? We'll have to do the loiter and the... Okay. So and... for now, it's on stabilized mode. Okay. It's All on right. stabilized mode. So okay. we are going to arm the drone. Okay. So I think we can stand up and then yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll see it in flight mode as well. Sure. Okay. So we'll, so we'll, how do you arm it? So we are going to move the throttle stick to the To right. the right. Yeah. Okay. For right. five seconds. For five seconds. For you to start... Okay. For the motors to start moving. Okay. Which means it has it has um. So we should be look we should be seeing the propellers moving in a few yeah, seconds, yeah. right? So that's five seconds. Yeah. All right, great. Okay. Oh wow, okay. it's on now. <laughs> Interesting. So, so this the... means that it's it's now powered. Yeah. So it can go into flight mode. Yeah. So you now you now have to control it from your end to make sure that it, it comes up, right? Yeah. Okay. So you take it away. All right. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Wow. So so this can stay in the air for about how many minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So whatever function you give to it, yeah. it will work. So I'm sure you had to infuse some artificial intelligence into it. What? Yeah. Yeah. So the intelligence that I actually gave it is for you to stabilize itself. Okay. In the air. Also for you to hold its altitude mm. or give it a lot time mode and we can also program it so you can see now it has stopped it has stopped okay okay which means i'm not moving yeah, because it, so you didn't that's uh, the power smartness it. of the drone also okay yeah. interesting so it's going to stop by itself okay we can also give it the loiter mode the loiter mode, mode where the drone is going to hold itself in the air okay it doesn't matter how you are going to move the drone. The drone is still going to. It still be have there. to be okay. All right. So you yeah. can power it again. I'm sure our viewers want to see how it works again. Yeah. So we will do five seconds. We will do five seconds, and then yeah, we'll, we'll, it will go up again. All right. Okay. So we we'll arm it for five seconds. Yeah. Okay. I see the propellers moving, and then we'll go into flight mode. Yeah. Interesting. So you can send this wherever you want it to go, right? Yeah. And you do all this on the transmitter. Yeah. Okay. 
Interesting. So for the educative purposes, the ones you said this is for educative purposes. Yeah. How the how the the students that have been using this to learn, how have they been receiving this innovation that you've created? So actually we are going to teach them how to fly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And also how to build the drone as well. Okay. So you teach them how to to to, to power everything yeah. and then how to, you know, build it from scratch sure. as well. Okay. So I've, you've been doing this for quite some time. Where yeah, so let's say I, have, I started 2021. 20, 2021. Yeah. Okay, so let's say roughly some three years now. Yeah. So where exactly do you want to see this go? And like, what are the other innovations that you have out there that you'll be using for these teaching purposes? Or, okay. Yeah. So I have this... Uh, actually, you asked the first question, where exactly do I want this? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's see. Now, the world we are entering mm. is full of technology. Yeah, that's true. So, actually, this drone can... This, we, we, it's going to get to a time that we are going to see... We are going to have taxis that are flying. Mm, yeah. yeah. Taxis that are flying. I mean, I've, I've, we've even seen some from, yeah. from even some of the car companies. So, we'll be having some companies. in Ghana very soon. <laughs> yeah, we are going to... Hopefully, hopefully you'll be the one that will build that for us. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. All right, yeah. We are looking at that also. Mm. We are also looking at drones doing delivery. Mm. We are also... So, let's say, this boat, food and all those stuff. You want to take their jobs, are, eh? <laughs> no, they are, are also going to get some of our yeah. drones doing their delivery for them. Mm, yeah. All right. So, as uh, always... A lot of people have been saying that drone, uh, robots are going to take most of our works. Mm, yeah, okay. it's true. Drone is a robot. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's also going to take some of the works that we have. So something like the filming also. Uh, For the filming industry as well. Yeah, how the to filming shoot. industry, you, mm. you know that the old times, they, they've been using this helicopter mm. with someone with a camera yeah. taking the view in the air. Yeah, so, so now, now this will change things Drones are doing all those works interesting yeah yeah so Shaibu, it's been very interesting learning inside the mind of a drone with sure. you and thank you for coming on the show i've been speaking with Shaibu adams and he's a drone expert and we've been learning and exploring inside the mind of a drone on this week's episode of best tech before we go don't forget to log on to our website www.ghanaweb.com don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms facebook instagram and twitter at the ghana web and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel Ghana Web TV. I am Maoli Ahalmega. Many thanks for watching.